guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing lip products. Yes, I'm the girl that doesn't like lip products and yet, and yet here we are. I mean, I would say overall my collection, I think is pretty minimal for being like on YouTube doing beauty stuff. I think it's pretty good because lip products are pretty easy to like <laughs> just kind of collect here and there. You turn the corner, there's seven more lip products staring at you. But this is my overall thing. I would love, 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 love for everything to fit in here. That's kind of my goal. But right now that isn't what's happening. So I have this kind of overflow situation happening. These are my lip liners, which I'm okay with having like this one extra separate thing for lip liners. So I'd be fine with that. And then I thought um, I would go through like literally all of my undecided lip products. So these are all unopened ones that I've gotten through various ways and I'll go through those with you guys as well. So yes, it is a lot. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I really do want to be more strict. Although I will say I've been enjoying wearing a, a colorful lip, a brighter lip, a darker lip, like all of it. And I have been enjoying liquid lipstick. So we'll see what actually gets out of here. I am excited though. I am excited to do it. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna start with things that I think are least likely to stain my hands first. I think that's like a smart move. So here we have what I consider kind of like tinted lip balms or this isn't tinted. This is just a lip balm. Um, but yeah, that type of thing. So I know off the bat, this is one of my favorite lip oils and like kind of lip balms. It's just clear. I guess I'll swatch it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just like glossy looking, but it feels so plush on the lips. It's very, very nice. And I'm definitely keeping that. Lip balms are some of my favorite products when it comes to lip stuff. I'm very, I feel like pretty low key most of the time, like in 90% of my life every day hanging out, chilling, all the things. I'm usually in a lip balm if I'm in something, you know? Anyway, I've talked about this in a favorites. I really like it. This product from Glossier is the wildfigbalm.com. And I wanted this because I love fig scents, but unfortunately this doesn't really smell like fig. It smells kind of like fruit punch. And so that's kind of, um, annoying. This is what it looks like. It's definitely very sheer. It doesn't smell bad actually. I think that when I initially got this, I just was disappointed it wasn't fig. I think that was the biggest thing. So I'm gonna swatch some of the milk ones that I have here and see if I have a similar color and then we can go from there. So these are the Kush like lip balms. I got these. I got these in a set from Sephora once they went on sale after Christmas. I remember not loving the scent on these, like the taste scent, but they're so nice nice feeling. They are very nice feeling. So those are them really comfortable type products. I also think it's like a good time to mention this Bobbi Brown one, even though I didn't put it here because it's more of like a tinted type product. And this is one of my most recent lip purchases. That's it there. And you can see how much more brown it is. It's really natural looking. I really like that. So I'm definitely going to keep this. I mean, I knew I was gonna keep this, but I thought I would just swatch it here and kind of see how everything compares. This is from Touch and Soul. They sent this out to me. It's kind of, like a corally looking one. Let's see. Yeah, it's like an orange coral. I don't I don't think I'm gonna use that. I can make a decision on that one pretty fast. Um, I'm gonna pass that one on. It's still pretty new. This is something that I've had for a while since I went to Australia. I bought this at Mecca and this is a tinted balm and it's in like a neutral color. So you can see there, it's really light. I really wanna try to use this up. Um, I like the color. I like how natural it is. So that I'm gonna keep with like just a lip liner. I think that's nice. Okay, and last, this is from Revlon. It's the Kiss Balm in Peach. And I think this has like a peachy type tint to it. Yeah, it's actually kind of similar to the Touch and Soul. Uh, but a little lighter. This, I just wanna work through. I've actually used these up in the past and they're not that hard to use up. So I think if I put my mind to it, look, that's all I have left. So this I think is actually reasonable to use. So that's gonna be kind of one of my goals for the year. I bought this because of nostalgia and I don't completely regret it, but I def didn't need this. Now for this. Um. <sighs> I wanna keep the Glossier because I like want Glossier in my collection, maybe more than the milk ones, but I don't know how reasonable it is to like be applying this really in any real way. So I'm kind of like, which one actually makes sense? And all the, they're very similar though. It just doesn't make sense to me to have both. But I remember not loving the scent on these. I think I'm gonna keep the Glossier. I'm gonna keep the Glossier. I'm gonna get rid of the 
the like matching color, which is the shade Bubble. And then I am gonna keep the plush berry for now, like going into summer, see if I use this kind of popsicle berry type shade. And if not, I will uh, probably declutter it later. Yeah, I think I feel good about that. I think it's funny. I tried to start out with things that wouldn't stain and we already have stain. <laughs> so we are already doing it. I, okay, you know what? Like, I know this is weird, but I think I'm gonna like literally do the opposite of everything I just said. I think I'm gonna actually declutter both of these, the berry and the glossier and only keep this. I just think, okay, if I'm gonna use this product, I'm gonna want it on the go and the tube is not gonna be on the go. This is gonna be on the go. And I just don't know if I'm even gonna wear that berry shade anyway. Like again, I'm thinking of myself, if I'm going for something that's like easy tinted, I'm gonna go for more of this like red shade than I would for the berry, you know? So, okay, yeah. I know that was really weird probably to watch, but <laughs> literally changed my mind 180 degrees. But I like that I got rid of an extra product and I'm glad I got rid of the Glossier because I know in my head, like I just want it cause it's Glossier and I thought it would work and since it didn't, I'm like trying to still kind of make it. Anyway, it's stupid, it's really stupid. All right, here are all of my lip balms currently that I have. So um, the fresh ones I'm definitely keeping. I've already opened both of these. I already have pan on both of them too. So this is the peach one, smells amazing. I really, I actually really love these lip balms from Fresh. I think they're great. I really wanna try the coconut one. That's like one I haven't tried yet. The lime mint smells amazing. I don't love that it's green, honestly, but um, I've used up quite a bit of this. This is one I'm kind of working on, trying to get through. Not in a bad way, I feel like get through sounds kind of negative. It's not negative, it's just like, you know, it feels good to actually work through a product. These are maybe not the best value for money, um, <laughs> because they're $18 a piece and you get about like half the product than you would in like larger, containers, but if you're someone who likes a lot of lip balms, likes trying a lot of things, and you don't mind like that the value isn't like, you know, Costco value type situation, um, it's nice because you can actually work through them without them going bad. And so in that way, you're getting the full value of your money by using the full product instead of just getting a shit ton of product for a good amount per gram or ounce or whatever. I, I have no idea if that like actually made sense, but yeah, keeping both of those. This is the I Do Care Buttery Vitamin C Lip Mask. I have not used this yet. I think, oh, I thought I hadn't used it yet, but <laughs> looks like I dug on in. I'm gonna keep this around. I can't, re I literally cannot remember using it. And so since it's already tainted, like might as well keep it and see how I like it if I end up not like loving it, then I can uh, pass that on later. So keeping that. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. I really do. So I'm definitely keeping both of these. This is like the lemon one. <laughs> it looks like Neosporin in here. Like I hate that so much, but it's nice. And I love, love, love this formula. So I'm definitely keeping this. And I find the minis last me a while. The Mint Chocolate Chip. I don't really smell the chocolate too much on this one, but I am gonna keep that one too. I know, um, lip balms, it's like actually useful. Plus for me or Sam, we can both use them. This is the Caranel Berry Lip Night Mask. It's like from Yes Style and you can tell it's kind of trying to do what Laneige does. It smells nice and I remember it being a good texture as well. So I wanna give this another go, see if it's actually a dupe and if it is, or if I like it just as much as the Laneige, then I'll keep you know using it. But if not, then I'll pass it on then, but I do wanna try it. So these are kind of technically like keep testing them and then make a decision later. And then this is from Emile Cordon and they sent this to me. This is like a $60 lip balm, y'all. <laughs> I've dug in quite far. I don't know if that's noticeable, but this is a ton of product. This product has 0.42 ounces of product in it, whereas this has 0.21 ounces of product. So it's literally double in here. So all those is like 60, this is almost 20. In reality, if you were getting this much product of this product, it would cost you $40, just for comparison. Anyway, this is the St. Bart's uh, Soleil. It smells kind of like tropical and kind of uh, buttery coconutty. So I do enjoy it. It's a thinner formula. It's not my favorite, but I, I think it's nice. And I do find that it moisturizes and like sinks into the lips. It doesn't do one of those like coating and already plump lip and keeping it moist. It's more like if your lip is actually dry, I find this actually helps like recover it 
Anyway, I'm keeping that too. So maybe not the best on these, but um, that's okay. That's okay. I don't want to just get rid of it to get rid of it. And I have these two kind of on the way out. So that's good. More lip balms. I know. You, the thing is, you guys might think this is a lot of lip balms, but I feel like this is actually quite um, chill for me. Like I think <laughs> I think I'm like doing really great so far. So I'm I'm proud of that personally. Anyway, lip balms. This Moroccan Magic one that I got in like an Ipsy. One of you guys said it's actually pretty good, and so I was like, you know what? Instead of just passing that on, I'm actually gonna try it. This feels great on the lips. It's like minty. It's a very nice, and I have like half of it gone already. So I'm kind of project panning this. Let me see. I can show you by rolling it down. <laughs> I've been using this a lot. So that is on its way out and um, you know, I'm over here bragging, but yeah, I'm gonna keep that obviously. It's been great. I know it's not fancy looking, but it works very nicely. This is one I've been working on as well from Erin's Faces. This is the coconut lip balm. I have this in my uh, bathroom, like after I brush my teeth, I'll apply this. And so I'm actually making some decent progress on that one as well. I mean, not nearly as much as the Moroccan magic one, but I'm going to keep that and keep using it. I enjoy it. It's nice and it smells like coconut, so I can't complain. This milk one, I don't like the scent of. I want to use it because it's heavy and it feels nice and I feel like such a, you guys prepare, I'm about to say it. Cool girl, I feel like a cool girl with this, but um, I hate the way that it is, so I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> I think it's so funny. I do feel like my declutters are, I mean, I'm always honest with you guys, but um, I kind of sometimes feel like there's no denying that I'm honest because I'll be over here keeping Moroccan magic lip balms that I get in Ipsy's for free and decluttering like expensive <laughs> stuff that I pay for. Uh, anyway, okay, next. This is a chapstick, Aloha Coconut. I mean, it does smell like coconut. It's just like a very basic thing, but I, Sam needs lip balms a lot. I probably have mentioned this before. Sometimes I just keep these basic ones for Sam. Like, you know, when he's like, oh, I need a lip balm, then I can, I, I have one to be like, here you go, stop complaining. I don't know, anyway, I'm gonna keep that. This one is Preventative Measures 101. I think I've already opened it. I think I was kind of like wondering if this was good, but it doesn't look like it's been used, but I, the seal is obviously not um, sealed. I guess I'll try that. <laughs> I don't know what just went on with this. After hours lip balm, passion fruit, ooh. Oh yeah, it's passion fruity. I don't know, this might become Sam's, it might become mine. It might be like a, sometimes I like to keep lip balms like this when I'm at my desk, like editing a video or whatever. <laughs> and I feel like I'm kind of going back to my uh, project panning days and I will like apply this, you know, a couple different times or try to be aware of my lip product so I can kind of work through something a little faster so it might end up there it might end up in sam's i don't know backpack okay this i know i can get rid of this is just from yes style i wanted to try it out because it's like kind of cute it's a little pill this is like a tea scented one i remember it being kind of oily i don't like love the packaging and although it's cute i'm just like realizing you know it's not doing anything else for me i don't know it doesn't smell that i don't know I just don't have any attachment and I don't also like want to use it up. So yeah, that can go. This Huda Beauty uh, lip balm, the Silk Balm is really good. I got this as a like deluxe size sample from Sephora and I really like it. It kind of reminds me of the Wander Beauty one that I enjoy. So I'm gonna keep that, I, I like it. It feels plush. It's like an actually good sample size product that I got. These two, I'm gonna keep this Revlon one. It's kind of similar to the other Revlon lip balm that I have, but this one smells like coconut, so I'm like even more attracted to it. Oh my God, wait, I bought this one for nostalgia. I think this one I've just had for forever. Oh, well then I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I didn't realize I've had it that long, but that makes more sense. It's all coming together. Okay, this is gonna go, okay? And I'm just gonna keep the one that's newer that I just bought. And um, yeah, what? Okay, this is gone. 
this I'm keeping. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, last, this Kopari Lip Glossy. I do like this. I feel like I've had this a while though. Let me just see if it's good. It seems to still be good. So since I know I, I like it, I'm gonna keep this. Um, yeah, I do, I do like this. So I'm keeping that. Something I just realized was not in the right place. This is the Wander Beauty Lip Retreat, but this is in the shade Skinny Dip. So this one's actually tinted um, and I am keeping that. I love the formula of this in the clear and then I think this color is so pretty. So yeah, this is awesome. Love that, definitely keeping. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. I hope that the balms wasn't the most maybe boring thing to start with, but again, I didn't want to like have stained hands, you know, throughout the whole video. I'm gonna save some of these unopened products to do with the other unopened products that I have. I think though that we're on to like lip glosses. Let's do it. All right, here they all are, all the lip glosses. Okay, I think I'm going to just start by like the things that kind of catch my eye the most, whether it's because I wanna get rid of them or because I want them. This is a relatively new product, um, but I think I know I don't want it. I was kind of excited to get something by Florence, by Mills, but yeah. <laughs> I don't use it, I don't reach for it, and it's not something that I really like want to necessarily. So that's gonna go. This is something that I've kind of kept because it's like the White Russian from Buxom, and I feel like that's such a classic color, but I realize like to me, this color is very outdated and something that I would want. Like this is old me and like old everyone liked this, but this type of, like quote unquote nude isn't really the type of nude I go for. I'm definitely more into, for example, this type of nude shade, which is so much more brown than it is pink. Um, I just think that looks like natural and I just like that more. So um, I'm gonna get rid of this. Kind of on the same note, so this is that Tower 28. I am nervous for some reason that this is off because Y'all tell me it's supposed to smell good and mine doesn't smell good. So I don't know if I have an off one. I think I might actually try to just exchange this um, because of that. I don't know, I'm just like freaked out. I don't know why this smells gross. And then if that one does, it's not so bad that I wouldn't keep that one, but at least I'd know. Like at least I'd know that I'm not sitting there like. <laughs> using an off tube, but I love the color. I love the formula. So I don't want to get rid of it. I want to keep it. I just want to exchange it. So keeping, but that's kind of my plan for this. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to swatch this liquid cat suit from uh, Wet n Wild next to this color just to see. Oh, wow. So I think this is a really beautiful color, very neutral. Let's see. I'm definitely um, trying to like not color dupe stuff. Like I feel like this one's close enough. It's close enough. And this is also old, so I'm gonna get rid of the Wet n Wild. It was good though. Like if, you know, these are definitely different in price. I did enjoy this. And this is a little bit cooler in tone, but you know, I'm gonna get rid of that. I think I'm gonna work on these wet um, lip glosses. These are from Kosas and I got these in a set. So um, this is the shade Dip. It's really pretty. I think these are really comfortable lip glosses. I'll probably keep them all. This one's, I think, Jellyfish. I think that's such a cute little name. I love that. Oh my God, it's kind of weird in there though. Look at that. There's like barely any product in here. And these don't like have a scent at all. This is just like a clear lip gloss, which I think is nice. So I'll keep that, but I'm gonna keep that in mind for when I'm looking at stuff. And then this is like a red one, which I mean, you know, having a red gloss, I'm not sure how much I'd use like a red gloss, but also I think a red glossy lip could be cool and could be something I might want like to have the option to do. So I'm gonna keep that in mind, especially let's look at this naming gloss. This I got from Yesdow. Okay, the scooper on this is so freaky. Um, yeah, it's not the same. So at least I know they're not too like red glosses really. I'm keeping like everything on here. If you can tell I'm doing this a little differently cause I do wanna see swatches compared and that's kind of helping me narrow down stuff. So um, yeah, let's look at these Kaleidos. I'm gonna look up actually which ones are still available from Kaleidos to kind of help me um, because this is one that I like to use a lot but I think it might be old. This is the mesmerize lip uh, tonic. The lip tonics are the glosses. So that's more of like a mauve shade. I did really enjoy that, I believe. I love the liquid lipsticks though. Let's see what's available. Okay, so it looks like 
Okay, so I was just like lying straight up to your faces, y'all. These are the Lucid Lip. The lip tonics are the lip liquid lipsticks. Anyway, the Lucid Lip, the only two that are available on the site right now are Hypnotize, which is this one, which is beautiful, and also um, Dramatize. So I think, honestly, I might just keep those two. Uh, I'll show you swatches of them. They're really quite pretty and they are a little like glittery, but they're still sheer, which I love. I'm not into a fully like opaque lip gloss. So one's more like cool, one's more red. So I'm gonna keep both of those and I think it's time to get rid of the other ones. There's a part of me that wants to like keep them, but they're not available anymore. And I don't, I definitely don't use like this blue one very much and, and lip products, I try to keep them pretty sanitary, you know? And I like the color initially on this, but it is quite, it flashes quite pink because of the shimmer in it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those two. And even this mauve one, I just know it's old. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that too. Oh, it feels weird. I like, it feels wrong getting rid of Kaleidos, but those are mostly for age, you know, and you can't get them. I kind of think I'm gonna get rid of this naming one as well. It's just like, it's just nothing quite special, especially to, I just don't really love the applicator, you know, like the applicator is kind of weird. It's literally a plastic paddle, not super enjoyable. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, I think that means I'm gonna end up keeping all three of the Kosas ones. So that's kind of fun. Then we have a lot of Ofra in here and we also have some of these ones. So let's try these. The Glossier, this is just like the regular lip gloss, the clear one. Because I technically have a clear one with the Jellyfish from Kosas, and because this is so old, like honestly, I should just replace it at this point. It's gonna go, it's gonna go. But I do like, if you like like a super thick, like not sticky necessarily, but glossy, glassy lip, this is a really good one. Like it's a classic for a reason, but I'm ready to let go. I enjoyed it while I had it, it was good. And I could see myself at some point having that again. Then we have this Lila B um, or Lila B, maybe it's Lila B. This is like the lip oil. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this because it's quite, I don't know why I'm just like not super into it. It is more brown, which I like, but I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. I'd rather do like a liquid lipstick in this color, you know, than like an oil that's not staying put really. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, okay, last, that's not Ofra. This is Persona's pink lip gloss. I like the Persona lip gloss formula. Um, I don't know, let's see what this color is. I might keep this actually, um, there it is. It's a little pink, but it's not like too bubble gum, you know, it's still, more neutral than super hot pink or something. And it's definitely different than what I have at the moment. So I think this might be something I keep. I have a couple Persona glosses coming. I bought some from the Boxy Pop-Up. I think I got Toffee, I got the two that were offered. There's Toffee and something else. They were like $4 a piece and um, they were on my list. So I think I might, I might keep that, but let's swatch all these out and then I can really, I think, make a decision. But I'm gonna clean my hand so we have a fresh space to work with. I'll all right, so here are all my different Ofra glosses. I have quite the range going on. So let's see. I know I have another one too, let me grab that. This one's so pretty. I know I'm gonna be keeping Bare, um, but I'm gonna swatch everything so we can really see it. Bare is beautiful, so pretty. And it's a little bit like um, more opaque, but not in a bad way. I like that one. Okay, so Bear seems to be a winner. Like I just, I love it. It's not too pink. And again, I'm just not really into something too, too pink. Next, this is the lip gloss shade in Peony. Oh wow, okay, I know it looks like nothing, but I kind of love that about it. So it has the tiniest hint of color with a little bit of sparkle. That is really beautiful. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is the shade Natural. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's a little more apricot-y and kind of has like a golden sheen to it. I mean, that one is also pretty. I'm gonna put that in the middle. I'm gonna put that in the middle. Not as in love, like I think I'd reach for both of those over that one so far. This next one is the shade Sunshine. Kind of interesting looking in the tube, but I think it's gonna translate probably as just like a clear. So I don't think I need that one, you know? Like it's cute, it's kind of fun, you know? Like if you're doing like a summer collection, but I think I'm gonna go with Peony. So this one, I think I'm gonna get rid of. This is Cherry Mocha. Um, this one's old, so I think I have to get rid of it for that, like just, 
oldness alone, but I don't know if you can tell from the doe foot here. This one has a very strong like pink undertone and also stain to it. Like this always stains and I don't love that in a lip product. So I'm gonna pass it on. I also thought cherry mocha was gonna be maybe more brown. Like this to me looks like what cherry mocha should look like, you know, but that's gonna go. I think I'm gonna have to throw that one away. Next we have the shade Blissful. This one looks really pretty. Ooh, definitely a little different. It's very like high shine, um, as in like shimmer. Ah, that one's kind of on the fence too. I feel like I should decide though between this natural and Blissful when I have to make a decision. This is from Samantha March's collection. This is the shade Millie. Um, I don't have anything like this at the moment. It's a very high shine. So I think I might keep that just cause it is a bit different, but since it's like a neutral, it's very versatile, you know, something a little different, we'll see. I have the shade Queen here. I think some of these came in the like Samantha March trio. Um, so there's queen is that one. I know I'm like, should I keep, I think I'm gonna keep queen and then I can get rid of blissful and au natural and keep queen. I think that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of those two. And then this is Rodeo Drive and I feel like it's gonna be kind of similar to Queen. Mm, yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of Rodeo Drive. I know I narrowed it down a lot, but you know, I, I wanna keep it keep it tight with these, these lip glosses. So yeah, especially cause I know I'm gonna like, I'm gonna reach for Bear, or I'm gonna reach for uh, Peony or I'm gonna reach for Queen over everything else. So there we go. I am gonna swatch this really fast and see if there's anything, but no, nope. So keeping the persona as well. That I did amazing, okay? I got rid of 14 lip glosses and I kept 11. So I cut it in half less or more than half or I don't know, however you say that. I have two colors here, some more from Ofra. These are the flexi sticks. So they're kind of like a hybrid between a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. I think I might keep both of these though. Let's see, like that's such a pretty mauve shade. I don't really have much like that. This is the color Slip. And then this one is the shade Velour. Um, and this one's more of like a berry kind of mauve. It's kind of cool. I think I'm, I might keep both those for now. We'll see. Um, so far it's, it's seeming like I will. Let's get into liquid lipsticks. I don't know how to show these all on camera. So yeah, I'm sorry if you can't see them all. First off the bat, I'm gonna start with the things I know I wanna keep. And those are all my dose of colors because I love them. I really think that they're amazing. So let me swatch them. This is the shade Brick, a really beautiful like brownie red. I find that the dose of colors formula is just really thin. It dries down really nice. It doesn't get gummy. I don't really like when they get gummy. Um, and it feels lightweight, like it's not super drying. Um, I feel like all liquid lipsticks are like to a degree drying, but Dose of Colors is really great. Okay, this is Chocolate Wasted, really so stunning. I really like the shade Truffle. This is more of like a, a neutral shade for me with the lip liner, it's really nice. Rosebud, I have Rosebud in the older packaging, but I think it should be good. Let me smell it. Yeah, it still smells good to me. So I'm gonna keep that. It's a weird color, but you know, sometimes you're feeling it. So I'm, I'm gonna keep that for now. I have this hot pink. This is the shade Pinky Promise. So I'm definitely keeping this. I know this is gonna stain, so I'm trying to be careful, but such a fun one, such a fun bright one. And then I have two reds, these are also in the older packaging. I have Date Night and Kiss of Fire. I got both of these from Boxy Charms and I'm gonna keep both. So this one is, let's see, Date Night. Both of these stain pretty bad. So <laughs> I know that's what's gonna happen here. And then this is Kiss of Fire. So even those two, they look so similar in the packaging, but one is way more like like brighter and fiery, but also kind of has like a pink undertone. So yeah, I'm keeping all of those. I guess I'll keep them on for reference. I was about to like erase them all, but I'm gonna keep them. We'll deal with this later. That's not a liquid lipstick. Next, I know I wanna keep the Stila one. This is the shade Patina and it's just a mini, but ooh, is it pretty? I felt so pretty. I was wearing this in a video and I look back at the footage, I'm like, Damn, that looks good. So definitely keeping that. And it's like cooler than anything here. And I don't really want to have like too many repeat shades. So I'm glad I'm keeping 
the kind of reference swatches on my hand. <laughs> okay, I also really love this one, the Melted Matte from Too Faced. This is the shade Suck It, and I think this is so pretty. Definitely keeping that a little bit deeper, a little bit darker, but still kind of mauve -y. Um, so that I'm keeping. This Kylie one I know I can get rid of. Uh, I just found it to be drying and I didn't love it. The color is okay, it's okay. But I feel like Truffle's close enough and this is a little bit lighter. I'd rather go deeper anyway. So that I got as like a free gift during the holidays somehow with an order. So that can go. This Persona one, I don't like. I don't like the Persona formula. I don't know if it's changed since this was made. The color is, absolutely stunning, but I found that this just wasn't um, opaque enough and I felt like it, it was like cracking. It was uncomfortable. I, I really didn't enjoy it. I just wore this the other day. It's such a sad thing too, because I really, really love the color, but I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is the Pony Effect uh, gloss. I don't know what this is. It says, I don't know what it says. It's 05 though is the color. I think Oh yeah, it's like a more of a velvety matte type shade. I think I'm gonna keep that one. It's kind of nice. And um, this one's more of like a softer matte liquid lipstick type thing where it's not as like stay all day on your lips type thing. And that's kind of nice sometimes. So that I think I'm gonna keep, but let me swatch it against this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get rid of this Clarins because honestly, it just always gives me the ring on my lips. I like the color. I think it's nice. Again, you can see the trend of like a lot of these having a lot of brown in them, but I don't like that this gives me that inner white ring like every time I wear it. So I can't really wear it on camera um, or I don't like to. And then also like in my real life, why would I wanna do that? Not that anyone can really see most of this stuff at the moment, but you know what I mean. So that's gonna go. This is so pretty. This is the Ink Velvet. Uh, it's from the brand Peri Para maybe? I don't know. I got it from Yes Style, but the color is so pretty. This is like the type of red orange shade I really like. So kind of is okay that I'm getting rid of the Persona. I like this type of shade. So this I am keeping. I like that. All right, let's take a look. I think I'm gonna keep this so we can just put that away. I'm gonna take a look for these Kaleidos and see what's available. Although I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep the frosted ones. I just don't know if I'm gonna keep the red ones. Oh no, this site like literally just went under maintenance. I just accessed it, dang it. I think I'm gonna get rid of both of these. I'm pretty sure that they're not. Oh, I can see the names. No, these are the only two available still, dang it. So Collision and Ambition are the only two available, these two reds. So for that, I'm gonna keep them just so you know I can reference them since they're still available. One is like a matte red and one has like a bit of a shimmer. So I'll keep both of those. Um, really though, I love these other ones, these more neutral. Oh, they're so good. I almost tried to declutter one of these as more of the brown one and then I didn't. I was like, no, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I almost never do that, but I did. So this one is, oh, they're so I really love this kind of watery liquid lipstick. This is Infusion right there. Like I said though, I don't think they're selling them anymore, it looks like, at least not when I was on there. Oh my gosh, this is like so cool toned. <laughs> um, this one is Immersion, the more mauve, and then this one is Injection, oh wow. Um, I guess it makes sense for lips. Injection, which is more of like a brownie color, like a warmer brown. I'm going to keep all of those. I know that they're like not available, but I'm keeping these because I genuinely enjoy using them. Like I genuinely would choose to use them. So yeah, and these I like to use in my everyday life, on camera, all of it. They're just really great. I think one of the things I like about them is that they wear off really easy, so I don't have to worry about, you know, <laughs> like that kind of hole in the middle of your lips you can get, or if you're gonna eat or something like that. And I'm talking about all this from like basically before the pandemic, honestly, guys. But yeah, keeping those. And then we have these. I have the Alter Ego, I have some Ofra. I'm gonna also add these Ofra in here. So uh, let's see. Let's look at the Alter Ego. I don't, I mean, I haven't used these yet and I just, I don't know. I've kept them because I do like liquid lipsticks and I just feel like I should give them a try, but I guess this is kind of close to brick. 
I think I'm gonna always choose brick over this, so I'll get rid of that. Let's see if I can find something unique. Jealousy. So jealousy looks like my suck it shade, so no reason to keep that. And then last, this is the shade Crush, and I guess I don't have a dupe for that shade. It's right there. Um, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna wanna wear that, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. All right, moving on to Ofra. This is the shade Story. Oh, wow, okay, so this is kind of si similar to Suck It as well, a little bit lighter though. I might keep that because I do work with Ofra, so it's nice to have a liquid lip option from them. This is the shade Pasadena. That one's similar to this shade. Uh, what was that? I think this is Patina. So this is kind of similar to Patina. I'm gonna keep that also. Once again, it's nice to have an Ofra option. And then this is the shade Milan. Plus, honestly, the Ofra lip liquid lipstick is a great formula. And then that's Pasadena, which is pretty berry. I don't have anything quite like that one because Brick has more red, this has more purple. So I think I'm gonna keep that as well. I do wanna try the Flexi sticks. Let's just see how they compare because I might just keep the liquid lipsticks, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of both the flexi sticks and just keep the liquid lipsticks because I think I'd either go for a gloss or I'd go for the liquid lipstick. I probably wouldn't go for the hybrid. Wow, you guys, I feel so amazing doing that because they now all fit in here and I'm starting to have hope that I can actually fit everything back in here <laughs> at the end of the day. That is exciting news. I mean, see, wouldn't it be horrible if all these stains were on my hand the whole time and now it's only at least half. Mm -hmm. Now I wanna work through basically all the bullet lipsticks that I have. I'm also, I guess I'll just mention this here. I'm gonna keep this. This is my Anastasia lip palette. I had this in my kit, so I didn't buy this for myself, but since I disbanded my kit, I've kept this and I'm gonna keep this around for like any type of lip color I could possibly want. If it's kind of like on the fly or I'm doing it for a specific look or even like a Halloween look for myself or Sam or need a cream, anything. I have it, I'm not gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna keep that. I kind of have a lot of these lipsticks. Okay, I know a lot of people might not think that's like a lot of lipsticks. <laughs> Stick. I realize like that's what I have, but for me it is. Like I, again, I kind of go for the same colors and honestly like I, I like being intentional with the ones that I bring in and like I'm okay with buying like that one shade I want, so yeah. Okay, let's go through this. I wanna do these because although um, these are older, let me do the smell test. That's what I need to start doing because some of the stuff is old. These are just some uh, bullet lipsticks from W7, but they're really good. <laughs> like I love the formula because they're like easy to wear and I like the colors. So I have a feeling I might like still keep these around, especially as I'm like using lip liners and stuff now, I think. I don't know, I think they'll work well. I don't think they're still available, but this is shout out in case they are. And then this is the shade Banter, um, which is more warm toned. And both of them are just, fucking, they're like so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm like breaking it. So I still wanna keep these. Let's compare it to the Kaja though, right? Cause I mean, I bought this, so. Okay, so the Kaja is a little bit darker. I know it's not a lot, but I think it might make a difference on the lips. So um, I think it's different enough, okay? Let me have it, guys, let me have it. It is different. I think it is darker. If I find it's too similar later on, I'll get rid of it. Let's do this Kaja one too. This is like one of those, like the lip gloss sticks. It's kind of this weird hybrid you click up. Um, that's what it looks like. I like this. I mean, it's in the same family as these, but I don't know if you can tell the finish. This is like a glossy finish. This is more of like just a nice, not matte, but definitely not glossy. Um, but I like this. I'm gonna keep that color. This I'm not gonna keep and I actually hate this. It is a stain, so it's gonna stain my hand right now, but color looks so beautiful, but you don't layer it. Like I just, I actually hate the idea of this. I don't want products that look a certain way. And then when you take them off later or as they wear off, they stain a different color. Like what? No, oh, no, 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 no. And you can't build it up. It's bad. I don't know. I don't like that. This I'm getting rid of. I don't know why, why I have the courage today to do this, but I do and I'm gonna take it. This is one of my favorite colors. Um, it's Iberico from NARS and this came in like a a holiday set seven years ago, <laughs> something like that. And I love this like orangey red, but I have other ones out there. Like, let's just see. Okay, not the same, but 
it's close and it's honestly close enough and I just I know I know this is too old it's got to go that has to go in the trash this I'm gonna keep though this is the same formula I really do like this formula and I plan to get a few actually this year potentially but this is the let's go crazy color. I don't normally do pinks like this, but I think this is kind of a fun one for a change of pace if I want to do pink. This is from Touch and Soul. They sent this out to me a while ago. It's like a corally shade. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this. I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't think I'm gonna wear it. This is an Ofra lipstick in the shade Nude-ish. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. I'm gonna keep that one. That's like just like an easy wearable one and it's actually different from the other ones here. So that's kind of nice that it's not the same color. <laughs> um, okay, now basically, oh no, let's do this one and then we can talk about the brands left. Okay, so Fenty Beauty, this is the Matte Moselle, but this is in the shade PMS, I think. I'm gonna keep this, I think it's so fun. It's like a chocolatey brown that's really dark that it almost looks black. It's so pretty. I love wearing this with like gold, well basically Trophy Wife, uh, the highlighter on the eyes. It's so stunning and chic, so I definitely wanna keep that one. Okay, and now we have like Odin's Eye and Wet n Wild. So I definitely wanna get rid of some of the Wet n Wild because I haven't been reaching for them, which I know is partially because of overflow, but I feel like if I haven't done it yet, I probably won't. Let's do Odin's Eye first though. This is the cream lipstick in Love Jasmine. Ooh, that one's pretty. That's like a nice like warm, kind of like brownie nude type shade. That's looking like a keeper. The other one that I have in the cream lipstick is Brown Rose, which is actually more kind of red. Oh, but it looks red, but it is kind of like a brown rose. Wow. I don't know if I'm gonna wear that one though. This one I might not do. Plus it's a cream, it's a little bit shiny. I think this is the matte one. Oh yeah, velvet. Okay, so let's see the velvet. Um, this is Fig Jam. Oh wow, okay, kind of berry. I'm especially picky, honestly, about bullet lipsticks because it's not really my thing. This one I'll probably keep, yeah. So this is the shade Light Peach. So I'm gonna keep Light Peach and I'm also gonna keep that first one I swatched as well. Those two I think have a higher chance of me actually using them and that's what I want for my lips. So these are really nice um, containers. They're like heavy, they feel weighted, they're very nice. I don't know if this is a liquid, I don't know what this is. Um, what the formula kind of is on this. It's like a deeper red. I just don't wear these enough. I don't wear these enough. I'm gonna pass that one on too. I hate to do it because I'm like always, oh, they're so generous to me. They're so nice. And also their products are good quality. But again, I just hate, I'd hate to have them just rotting in my drawer. And here we have the Wet n Wild lipstick. So let's see. I know there's some that I was using a little bit. Oh, Never Nude. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that sounds like Tobias. Okay, Never Nude is this one. It's a little bit lighter, but I'm kind of I'm kind of intrigued by that. Ooh, this is the one I think I like. Yeah, Mocha Licious. This was like Rob Beauty Christie's fave. Mocha Licious, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep. This is Cherry Bomb. I think that one I'm gonna pass on. It kind of is like a, a dupe for like Max Rebel, it looks like, you know, but I'm gonna pass that one on. This is the shade Bear It All. I like that. I think I'll keep that one also. This one's not open, so I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna pass it on. This is Think Pink and it was already open, but I'm already telling you like, no. I could see this working for a look, but I don't tend to do that. And I could use my Anastasia palette if I wanted to. And then last, this is Skinny Dippin'. And this is the one actually I remember really liking, but I still feel good about the other ones too. So I'm keeping basically all the more like neutrally shades so far. So four, that's still more than I thought I was gonna keep. These other two are more of like the cream kind of formula. So I have, what is this? Mad for Mauve. I think that's kind of nice. I probably will actually keep that. And then this one is, well, this one's closed off, but it's not open. I kind of want to know what it looks like. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep closed off too. Okay, so wow, pretty good. I mean, lots of like similar colors, honestly, but I do tend to wear those. So I'm not like mad about it because it's still quite minimal still. So yeah. So far, just to like give you a heads up, 37 lip products are done, donezo, out of my collection. It feels effing amazing. I'm like, so happy about it because I actually can see everything I have. Oh, I love that. Okay, I do have a lot of lip pencils and 
I had this idea to do a lip liner video because honestly lip liners are like amazing and I love them. So many Ofer ones, they sent me every single one they have cause they're awesome and amazing. So I'm kind of conflicted as to like, if I declutter ones, then do I keep them so I can make that specific video or do you just get that information here? You know, I think I'm just gonna give you the information here of which ones I do or don't like cause I just don't want them in my collection. I know I'm getting rid of these, these revolution ones. So I'm pretty picky, like I said, with lip pencils. I like wooden pencils, so they need to be sharpenable, but there seems to be like two different formulas when it comes to sharpenable pencils. There's one that's like claims to be long wearing all day. And these are the ones that tend to get kind of gummy and they're kind of thick. I don't like those. So that's what this formula is. So unfortunately I'm getting rid of both of the ones I have from Makeup Revolution. They just don't work. Um, this one I just watched is the shade, oh, Heart Race. And then um, the first one was Chauffeur, but both of those are gonna go. Another one that needs to go is just cause it's too old is this Nika K one. And I think these are nice. I mean, they're a dollar. They're so cheap, but it's off. Like it smells bad. This Kylie one is another one that's like more of that goopy formula. This is in the shade Bare. It came with that liquid lipstick. I'm gonna get rid of that. Y'all know my favorites though. Like the Makeup Forever, Wherever Walnut keeping. I love all my Jane Iredell. They are getting old, but I, I literally don't care. Like we're going to use them. So we have nutmeg. Beautiful. Uh, spice is like such a good one. I love spice. I thought there was another kind of like neutral shade, but um, I do have some other colors besides neutral. So this is rose. If I want to do something pinky, I have a lip liner for it. This one is the shade plum. If I have something that's like a deeper kind of berry plum shade, I have a lip liner for it. And then crimson is kind of the red. So um, yeah, I'm keeping all of those. Like this formula of pencil is a lot more, I guess you could say dry and just like a normal lipstick, but in a pencil form. I just, I love that. I'm keeping my Mac Whirl. This is in my project pan. So I'll be working on that. And I love that color. This is Max Dervish, which is actually, ooh, it's like kind of dry. See if we can get to some less dry. Also a uh, side note, the Glossier uh, Play, which, oh, I wonder if they even make this anymore. Um, but anyway, the Glossier Sharpener is like the best, just saying. This is not like my normal color. It's a little bit lighter, but I'm gonna keep it. I like the MAC lip liners, so no reason to get rid of it. These Steve Laurent, um, I actually don't mind these, but they're kind of, this one's so dried out. Oh, it like, scratching me like I'll bleed if I try to use that. The other one I have, this one's creamy, but it's kind of thick feeling. I don't like that. Getting rid of both of those. The rest here are the Ofer ones and I'm gonna keep them. I haven't even tried all of them, but I'll swatch the ones that are like actually open so you can see. This is the shade Mauve, really nice. Not Mauve, I wouldn't, I, like it's like a brown. This is the shade nude, which is like a pink to me. This is the shade chestnut, which is a really nice brown. I like wine a lot. That one's a really nice one. Again, it's like a lighter wine, like a more brownie wine. This one is the shade orchid, which to me is a little bit more what I would have thought wine would be, which is part of the reason I was really glad they sent me so many. Cause I was like, I can't, I don't know which ones I want. Um, I can't tell and I don't want to pick the wrong one. So it's nice to be able to see them. Spicy is like, real nice, really just like good solid one. I use this delicious red for like a brighter red, which I don't even have anything like. So that one's nice. I'm not sure where it cut off, but overall I really like the Ofer lip liners. I think they have some nice colors. Maybe just the descriptors on the colors are a little uh, off to me personally, but I like them. These four I'm gonna keep even though they're not opened. So yeah, we gotta hurry. My battery's like about to die. These are all my unopened lip products. So let's, Let's see what we have. I'm definitely keeping the sugar, the fresh sugar lemon one because I can go through them fast and I like them. So I'm keeping it. This one I'm not gonna keep though. This is the Tarte Sugar Rush Best Bud. It's cute, um, but I have so many lip balms. You saw them all to go through. So that I can pass on. I've kept this Emile Cordon one um, because I know it's expensive. And this one's like the fig one supposedly, but I don't, let me, I'm gonna smell it. I don't know if that's weird, but let's see. There's just so much product in these that it's gonna honestly take me forever to get through the other one. So this is what this one looks like. Definitely different than the other one. I don't know. I might 
I'm, I'm gonna pass it on, I'm gonna pass this on. Wasn't expecting to do that, but I have some other lip balms still, which are the Bite ones. So I have the Bite Agave uh, lip balm, just like in the balm, but I also have it in the like mask. So what I'm gonna do, because I feel like sometimes I have an aversion to like opening products if they're not opened yet. I want to use these. So I'm gonna take them out the packaging so I actually use them. And I don't have this like excuse to be like, no, because it's not opened yet, you know? So um, yeah, adding these to my stuff so that I actually can use them. And I think that's it for like the lip balms. Oh no, it's not. So many of you guys in my BoxyCharm video said that this KAB or CAB lip oil is actually really good. So you know what? I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna use it. I mean, I got so many comments and uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Thank you guys. You're always looking out for me. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I like it. Then we have some different stuff. So this is from Kosa's. This is the shade Fringe. I'm gonna be really gentle when opening this. I mean, it's a bullet lipstick though. Oh yeah, no, mm-mm. If it was a neutral, maybe. But because I know I don't love this format of lipstick and then the color is gonna be something I'm very rarely gonna use, I'm gonna pass that on. This MAC one, I'm tempted, but I already have quite a few reds. I'm gonna let that one go. This is a gloss from Bare Minerals. Let's see what it looks like. I got this in an Ipsy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Let's see, let's swatch it. Oh yeah. I like that, keep. Then we have some stuff from Sigma. I have three different liquid lipsticks and then I have an always on point thing. This, I'm not like into the gimmick of it. I'm sure it helps some people or whatever, but since it's also like a bullet, I can kind of safely pass that on. So I'm gonna pass it on. And then let's look at these. Oh, I have a lip gloss and then two liquid lipsticks. Let's try this liquid lipstick first. Let's see. This is the shade Dapper, I think. Mm, promising. I might keep this and try it out. Let's see. I mean, it's looking like a color I like, so I'm gonna give this a go and just see if I like it. Let's see what this color, Cora de Rose. Um, it's like a lighter neutral shade. Mm, should I give both of them a try? I mean, that is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, let's try them both. We're gonna try them both, you guys. See if I like them. Okay, and then we have this lip gloss. This is the shade Secret Garden. Let's see. It's very sparkly. I think this one I'm gonna pass on. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it. So, you know, passing one on, that's pretty good. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Like, I'm doing so good. I'm doing so great. Okay, so this is what I'm keeping, but let me like organize it really fast because it's not really organized right now. Okay, guys, so my camera died and I had to change the angle to change the battery. So I hope it's not wonky or weird, but everything fits in here now. I was able to fit all my uh, liners in here, which is amazing. I have all of my lip glosses and I also moved over some tinted, like the tinted lip balms in here as well. Then I have my liquid lipsticks in here. This is kind of like lip balm central. So um, I have different like treatments and just like plain ones that are longer, shorter ones that are treatments, pots, more pots. And then this is like lipsticks. I don't know where I'll put this exactly, but then I have the bullet lipsticks and stuff in here. So amazing. I feel like this makes me feel good for my lip products because I know myself. I really do. Um, I am the person that tends to not like love a million lip products. And so I'm, I feel great with this. I have a little bit of room to try some new things because it's nice to try a new lip product now and then, see if you like a different formula. I mean, I wouldn't know that I love liquid lipsticks now if I hadn't done stuff like that, but I do like keeping it pretty pared down for lips because it's not like eyeshadow for me. You know, like I don't get the same enjoyment out of having a million sparkly purples as I would with like lip products, you know? So anyway, this is what I have, I kept, and I'm passing on, first off, let's see, one, two, seven unopened products. Those are gonna go uh, probably to donate. And then I have this entire basket, you guys, full of giveaway products or trash. Unfortunately, some of these will be trash because they're just old, but I'm gonna count them up, let's see.
I'm getting rid of 43 lip products, you guys, not counting also the seven, so 50 in total I'm getting rid of. And why not? Let's for fun count up what I have here. I just can't believe like to think that I'm getting rid of 50 and I know I cut this down by a lot, but just to think that I even, I, I wouldn't even know if I had that many. It didn't even feel like I had that many. It's just weird how that is. But anyway, let's add this up. Okay guys, 94 lip products. I technically have under 100 and I'm pretty sure this is like everything I have. I went through like, you know, my purse, all of it. Like to me, this feels pretty pared down and to think that this is still 100 and I guess just to think also how easily lip products really can get out of control. I remember I have like this distinct memory of when I moved out to LA and again, I've never really been a huge, huge lip product person and I just had so many lip products. Like I probably had like five times the like, like at least 500. I mean, again, that's just for me. Like that's just definitely not what I, I want out of my lip product collection. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was entertaining in some way, but yeah, other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.